What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lion Talk coming in. Your boy, B. Davis, is making his way around the corner here to one of my good neighbor's house, um, E-Money. Now, before I showed you guys, you know, on um, Ramrod backyard about that 8,000 square feet on a Time Master um, and how it worked, what he thought about it, things of that nature, we're going to kick it up this video. Um, I am going to show you guys 20,000 square feet of lawn that E-Money has in his backyard. You heard that right, 20,000 square feet. And my seatbelt isn't on, so that's what the beeping is right there. He has 20,000 square feet of lawn in his backyard. Um, and he has been using a Time Master for the past couple months, so I really want to um, know and get dialed in with him right now on what he think about it um, If he likes if he enjoys using it if he like it um, if it's too small for um, If the 30 inch is too small for 20,000 square feet, you know um, and, and just his ins and outs about it But first let me look, look, look let me show y'all guys. Let me show y'all my, my, my main man. It's money Let me show y'all. It's money yard. Look it's money It's money yard right there Now that's some green baby that's some green, all Bermuda. So let's get over here to E Money House and let's get his idea. Yeah. Yeah. We are over here at E Money's house. All right, we are over here at E Money's house and he has the time master set up already out here you know so we got the time master i don't know what that is i have no idea what that is i have no idea what this is at all at all i know what this is but this and that i have no idea i'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna ask him here he is right here ladies and gentlemen the man the myth the hour, E money, E money. Say what up to the people. How y'all doing? So this is the question I gotta ask you, E. What is those two things right there? E, e money, come over here. Let's. Let, uh, so <laughs> I had a feeling that something like that was gonna happen. So I said, you know what? I'll bring a couple friends with me, you know, to to help through this process here. I brought out the big boy, the 60 volt Toro Force Flex blower. Get out of squeeze. No, no, you was right there. The trigger. That's that's turbo. So, so give it a squeeze without it. Now hit the turbo on it. I give you some push right there. And also brought the. These are just empty boxes. And also brought the. The 60 volt. 60 volt. That's the 60 volt right there. <laughs> okay, that's a big That's the that's the string trimmer, man. We'll be back after these messages. I got grass in my ears. I got grass in my ears. I got grass in my ears and it's itching. I got grass in my ears. I got grass in my ears. I got grass in my ears and it's itching. That's all I got for now. All right, y'all. So we are going to discuss the time master here. E Money is here in the building. On his front yard here, we have. Bermuda grass, right? Yeah. Bermuda grass. Um, and you're sitting at, what do we say, about? Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter on, on the mower, and we're at about 5,000 square feet, roughly both sides, right? Mm -hmm. And all. So with 5,000 square feet, we're going to get a cut in. After that, we're going to talk about how he feel about 5,000 square feet being cut by the 30-inch Time Master. And then we're going to show you guys the backyard where the big daddy is at, at 20,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to discuss that too, so, you know. In that case, let's let's get cut. Yeah. All right, so like I was telling you, this thing is a great bagger almost too great if i just keep mowing it'll keep shoving stuff in this bag and it becomes a headache to get it out because it'll just keep filling up this bag and just 
packs in there tight. Now, normally with smaller mowers I've used, dude, it fills up and then I'll just start leaving it behind. This guy, man, it, you get a lot of clippings in this, dude. I think for 5,000 square feet, it's badass because it's definitely, it's oversized, right? But and you go to the next step up to a ride-on, that's way too much. And if I had the choice between doing this and then the standard of 2022, dude, this all day. This is, this is great for what I have. It knocks it out super fast. Now, what are some of the issues that you have with it, with a yard 5,000 square feet in front um, that you mentioned sometimes? You can kind of divvy it in the grass and things of that nature. Okay, so with it being the 30-inch, um, if my with my lawn being not level, as you can see here, I had them pour concrete in the back too, so that's why it's super uneven. They threw a bobcat through here, but I'll scalp sections of the yard, or the front wheels will also just catch on little mounds, and then I end up eating this bar. Now it just it it just gets stopped, and being so heavy, because it's 30 inches, it is kind of hard to maneuver in places. But I mean, uh, if your lawn is level. Man, it's badass. So now we are going to the back here. Now when I tell you guys, this is some grass. This is some grass grass. This is 20,000 square feet of nothing but pure. I gotta watch while I'm walking because you see got holes and everything of pure lawn. You guys might be saying to yourself, me Davis, ain't nothing going on here. Ain't that 20,000 square feet. All it is is right here. I'm uh -uh, big buddy. Don't judge a book when you take the top off the first time. You gotta take that top off a couple times. Then you really get to see what she working with, right? Yeah. Speaking of working with, look at this. 20,000 square feet of grass. Look at this, you wanna talk about some football games. I can still get my pads on. Look at that. Now I can see the world. See, 20,000 square feet, 20,000 square feet. We're gonna get the Time Master back on here once again. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give it a cut. And at the end of that, E-Money is gonna tell you guys what you think about the Time Master on 20,000 square feet. Whether it's just enough or maybe it's not enough, it's too small, too big, just right. We're gonna get all them answers for you guys. So let's cut some grass. So in order for E-Money to maintain and to cut this 20,000 square feet back here, he has to do two paces around the fence line and the house in order to set himself off. Just like us guys, us real guys at Real Mo, we do one pass or two passes around the outside and then we work on the inside trying to get them stripes laid and things of that nature. You know, he did have a couple of different things as obstacles that's in his way. Of course, the grass isn't as level, so you will see a lot of this going on and that going on. But don't worry about none of that, you know? You know, but the main point is this dude got 20,000 square feet back here. I got 2,200 in my backyard. He got 20,000. What's that? 10 times more? 10 times more grass. We are trying to work and get him. I'm trying to talk him and to get one of them triplexes, level this thing out, and have a beautiful golf course, baby. Boom! What you know about that swing, Aaron from Lawn Tools? And, uh, yeah, look at that. I mean, I need a golf ball. Someone give me a golf ball. I know in the beginning, when we first started this process, um, he mentioned that he was a little bit worried about, you know, kind of cutting it a little bit low. And I said, don't worry about that. You cut it low, it will grow. And it's training itself to do that. Bermuda grass will train itself to be cut at whatever height you want it to be cut at, as long as you continue to stay at that cut. Unless, of course, you want to play around with it. I tell people to play around with it all the time. Many people in this neighborhood cut their Bermuda grass at three inches or higher. They cut it like St. Augustine grass, four inches or so. To me, it's not beneficial or that healthy to cut it that high, but you gotta let people do, do what they wanna do. If that's, the, if that's the height that they wanna cut it at, if they stay on top of it, if it's green at the top and you cut it down and, and you look inside and it's all brown, I mean, that's a sign of 
let the people do what the people got to do. You know what I mean? All right. So we're talking like clippings, how how many times do I fill this up? Yeah. So I almost fill it up twice. So maybe like one and a half, one and three quarters if I let it get full. But again, I don't want it to get full because then I lose time just dealing with the bag. Dude. I mean, which is pretty damn good for 20,000 square feet yeah. of grass and all that. Oh, yeah, it, and yeah it, it does great at picking it up and it cuts it real fine. Now, gas, how much gas did you go through? So it goes through almost a gallon doing the front and the back. Okay. So because of that, I stopped with my little gallon that I usually use, and I got a five-gallon jug because I was getting gas every week. Of course, a, a, a bigger tank on it probably, you know, suit those who got bigger law, bigger laws that's working with something like this, you know, would probably benefit them, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's so this tank is dude i'm telling you like 10 minutes short of finish my lawn every time so 10 more minutes a little bit bigger size tank and boom yeah it would be done in one go yeah okay now the biggest question 20,000 square feet what is your honest opinion about the time as to 30 inch dual blade on 20,000 square feet too what small. would you have to say i think it's too small dude okay so I think for the average average homeowner with this size lot, they're not going to have the time that I am allowed with my job because I got days off during the week. I couldn't imagine being out here every Saturday spending two, two and a half hours mowing my lawn. Well, you guys have witnessed 20,000 square feet of lawn being cut on a, 20, on a Toro Time Master 30 inch here from eMoney himself. Um, of course, pros of it cons of it that's what we want we want the truth we want the realness in it you know um until next time i'm tired you know i'm gonna go get me a drink now because all that work that he just did made me tired how you feeling uh, let's go get some water go get some i was thinking more vodka but i don't know if that's allowed on youtube bro. <laughs> <laughs> peace out <laughs>